All right, last time our next guest was with us, he talked about his run-in with Paul McCartney and then having the Beatles legend on his podcast. Emmy Award winner Paul Mercurio will be at Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle in Royal Oak tonight through Saturday. And Paul, Paul is back with us here on the couch. Good to see you. Great to see you. Look how big my lips are in that picture. <laughs> They were always big. Like, when I was eight, my lips were the same size as they are now. I could whisper in my own ear. My father would take me fishing, stick my face in the water, and say, okay, call your friends. Come hey, it's on. nice to be back. Ra I see, oh, my God. I see Randy, the stage manager, is still here, napping. <laughs> yeah. Hey, andiamo. You should be wearing a hairnet, by the way. <laughs> hey, the Buy that wheel of cheese. I'm Italian. That yeah. was my crib growing up. <laughs> they would put me in a wheel of cheese, I would sleep, and then I'd sweat it, and, and I'd wake up, and I'd have a, a layer of cheese, and I would go to school smelling like uh, Parmigiano. Parmigiano Reggiano. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Tell us about life in New York these days. You still living there? I'm still living there. Uh, it's always an adventure. You get, uh, stop looking at me. Uh, you get uh, jaded living in that city. Nothing phases you anymore. I saw a rat running with a whole green apple in its mouth. <laughs> Across from the, I swear a to God, a whole green apple, a whole green, like, it, uh, and it was like bigger <laughs> than his head. Now, a couple of years ago, I would have been like, Ugh, now, now I'm like, good for him, he's eating healthy, <laughs> working out. Pizza rat is, is traded in <laughs> yeah. his pizza for, yeah, he's for he, had, apple. he had Lululemon pants on, <laughs> and he had, I, I yelled like, go rat, but he didn't hear me because he had his rat earbuds he in. He was listening to music. Do you now? You got a new dog. Do you worry about the rats getting after your dog, or is your dog? Alive? You know what? This dog, my, our dog has a weak uh, sphincter, so she <laughs> pees all over the place. It's like a nursing home in, my, in our house. And the dog finds me annoying. Whenever I walk into the room, the dog immediately gets up and walks into the other room. And, and gives me a dirty look. Like, I walk in the room, she's like, uh, this idiot again? And she walks into that room. Then if I walk into that room that she just walked into, she looks at me like, really? I just got comfortable in here. You're supposed to be in that room. I'm supposed to be in this How room. did you end up with a dog if the, you and the dog don't get along? It's, uh, like... it's called my wife. Ugh. She, she wanted a dog, and, uh, you know, i do anything so that she'll love me again. But, uh, but yeah, so anyway, and thanks for mentioning McCartney. I've had a lot, of, I've, I've been fortunate. I've met a lot of cool people. Yeah, you know, uh, we have some, I think we have some photos and pictures that we could show that, you know, you're uh, mm -hmm. shameless pandering to celebs <laughs> and whatnot. Do you have the one where I have them tied up? Uh, <laughs> no, everybody's been cool. Dave Chappelle's a good friend. Uh, Scarlett Johansson, I met her. Yeah? They will tase you if you touch your hair. I found that. And, uh, this is your webpage here? Yeah, there's, uh, and uh, it's on my website, paulmercurio.com. Bob Costas has been on the podcast. He's very tiny. He's about uh, a foot and a half tall. I carry him <laughs> around in my backpack. Uh, John uh, Stewart, uh, Jay Leno. Jay the, Leno. The, the, the list goes on. The first on. time I met Jay Leno, he was like, <laughs> and it, literally, I started laughing. <laughs> it's like he's like animatronic. <laughs> it's like, shouldn't you be in the Hall of Presidents? <laughs> Presidents at <and> Disney, <laughs> Disney World. World. <laughs> you just want to go like, breathe, breathe. It's like somebody's letting helium out of a balloon very slowly. <laughs> uh, John Stewart, I worked with him for a long time. Uh, and uh, Colbert, I'm working with him now. He's great. And uh, Billy Bob Thornton, awesome. I yeah. gave him a vial of my blood. <laughs> he thought that was weird. I'm, I just interviewed him the other day. I'm surprised he was alive. <laughs> he was <laughs> so... I know. I'm like, maybe you need that blood back. Yeah, to, I know. Get, he get was a little, like, whatever. And uh, I said, now I know why Angelina Jolie left you. <laughs> and then it was click, hello. <laughs> Hello, where did you go? So earlier you were mentioning uh, how when you were a kid you didn't have a crib, you had this wheel of cheese. The, your mom, uh, I think she, didn't she just turn 92? She did. No, yeah. she put you in this wheel of she cheese. She did, so. yeah. She's 92, amazing, will not go down. We try everything. <laughs> Bad milk, knock her over. She bounces back like a little Italian weevil. <laughs> no, she's 92 and she's still running her furniture store. And, yeah, well, and, like what kind of furniture? It's a uh, you know like uh, you know sort of uh, maple pine like traditional furniture, and uh, and she won't buy anything because she grew up in the depression, so she won't she like she doesn't even have filing cabinets in her store. She puts all of her bills and files in styrofoam coolers and then writes, I swear to God, and writes on the outside what's in the cooler. <laughs> yeah, you laugh when she gets audited. It looks like she's going on a picnic. It's a mess. <laughs> And the hearing aid whistles all the time, and she and she goes through people's garbage on a Sunday night. 
right? Because people put their garbage out, and she goes through the garbage looking for good garbage, stuff that's broken <laughs> and needs to be fixed. So one night, I'm driving her. She goes, oh, stop, pull over. And she takes this clock, I swear to God, and she's standing in the middle of the street. She goes, I can't believe these people threw this clock out. They're crazy. I'm like, they're crazy? <laughs> You're the one. They're your hearing aid is attracted a pack of dogs. You're in a house dress curlers. I'm lookout for some bad Italian American version of Antiques Roadshow, and they're crazy. So she's she's a piece of work. And, Speaking uh, of piece, pieces of work, what about customer service these days? How crazy is that? Oh my God, I can't stand it anymore. I just you know I've spent half my life in Home Depot trying to find stuff. <laughs> Nobody stays in their own department. Just stay in your own department. Yeah, why are they always wandering? Why is like, the paint guy they're, over they're, in the... It's like a retirement home for carpenters and plumbers and electricians. Just, and they have that, they should have some cameras in the ceiling so when these people wander, you can just like, Robert, get out of paint, go back into siding. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta relocate them, you know? This guy wanders all around the studio. You do. That, that, that's, my, that's, my, that's my job, to, to wander around. But I'm glad you're here, though. Thank you, man. You, know, you got the smoothest way to talk. I, could, I, you, I wish I could be that smooth. Well, you know, what can I say? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Tell us about the shows at Ridley's real quick. Uh, we got, uh, we've got a uh, Furniture Bank uh, benefit tonight. Uh, folks want to come out and uh, uh, support that. It's a great cause. And I got two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. You can go to ComedyCastle.com and get tickets. And uh, I'll have a wheel of cheese with me. And uh, uh, Randy will be on stage doing nothing. As usual. <laughs> Come over here. Come Paul here. Mercurio, everybody. Come on. Come on.